In our last programme, we followed our two NQTs in the first few days of their induction year. They've both started at inner city London schools, where managing behaviour is proving to be crucial. I felt exhausted and sort of wowed. I'm not sure that any course can prepare you fully for, you know, 26 children from Brixton just shouting out when they want, let go of my pencil or I'll break your face. And it's just, you sort of stop and go, oh my goodness, that didn't just happen. The behaviour in the class was on the whole really quite good, which was a relief. I was sort of aware that this is a strict school and I need to make sure that, you know, I I maintain those boundaries too. I'm just relieved that it wasn't complete chaos and on the whole, they seem a really lovely class. Now with three days teaching behind them, the realities of the classroom start to emerge. I got knits within, hmm, I got it on the Friday sort of thing and I came back Monday with it. So, really quick, you know, right away sort of thing. It can be very frustrating. And just with the stress of teaching for the first time, the last thing you need is knit. You know, you have to clean everything and every pillow on your bed, and I've got eight pillows on my bed. Everything has to be cleaned, and, but oh, what a boring, boring situation. Very silently, thank you. What I need you to do, very silently, is to go back to your home tables and sit with your arms folded. I felt really positive about behaviour in the first week, I think because they didn't know me and they were really kind of a bit wary and it was the new start of term and it was the first time that the classes had come together. And the first week was absolutely fine in terms of behaviour, nobody really tried it on that much. One, two, three. Four people aren't doing as they've been asked. So I think I was sort of lulled into this false sense of security. You know, thought, oh, this is all going really well. And then it was the second week, it just got worse and worse. Put it back in now. Uh, thank you. And let's try it up to here without the words. After three. Shanifo, if I see you wandering around again, that is a warning for you. Where should you be? Where should you be? Did you throw a pencil this morning? No, I don't know. Right underneath the pen and put that in. That's the warning. No, you did do it. Sit down. I have no idea how many times I've told Shani to sit down today. Sit down. Sit. I knew I had a challenge, but I, I just didn't foresee the, the level that these children gave, really. Some children are just very absent-minded, and if you tell them an instruction, they may not understand, so that's why they don't do it. That's easier to work with than the attitudes. Come here. Tuck in your chair, close your book, please. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Hi, okay, so today is the 20th of September. Um, very scrambled, very, very busy, um, pretty stressful. I introduced a point system whereby the children would get a point out of three every day, a mark out of three every day, um, based on their behavior and their hard work in class and outside the class and in the playground and so forth. I think perhaps because on teaching practice I am um, I didn't really have any problems with behaviour management. I probably rather naively, I realise now, thought that this year would be all about trying to improve my teaching. I don't know, I'm really trying to reflect on things and to go back and look at my strategies and try and see if I can make things work. Um, but there we are. Are we ready? Stop, look, listen. All I need to do is to go through the verse up to the point we've got. Very sensibly, everybody joining in, no fussing. Let's have a look. But seeing a third, he wished instead he chopped off poor Anne Boleyn's head. Okay. 
Pencils down, looking this way and listening in three, two, one. Not sure why one, two, three, four people are in the book corner when they shouldn't be. Sit back down at your table now, thank you. I really don't know why you got those things out. You really were not asked to do that. The only instruction was to put your pencil down and look this way. To be honest, I just don't know what else I can do. I really, it's not like it's one or two children that I could send out. It's just like the whole class don't listen to me. And I don't know what I do to not make them listen to me when they listen to someone else. I mean, like maybe it's the body language thing, but when I try and stand up and I try and change the tone of my voice, it just doesn't seem to have any effect. Put your hands down, I'm speaking. Lids on pens should be down facing this way, please. Lids on pens. Charlotte. Leave the garbage. I said nothing about the garbage. Right. You two sit down on the floor. I'm going to... I'm going to hear you one at a time. Right, you calm down. Right, Daquan. You want to tell me what's the problem? I want you to tell me what the problem is. What's the problem? You're obviously very angry. I need you to talk to me. I need you to tell me what's wrong. What happened, in your own words? When I was going to push this bit on, the sharp bit of the door. OK, so you're saying that Terrain pushed you and you landed on the sharp bit of the door and you hurt yourself. <coughs> and that's why you're angry. Yes? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. OK, you sit down on the carpet. Sit down, calm down. OK, calm down. OK. Did you push Daquan into the door? By accident. By accident, OK. Can you see that he was hurt by what happened? He said sorry. Okay, he obviously hasn't taken on board that you've said sorry. So what, what can you do again? Say sorry again. Say sorry again in a nice way. So you think you can do that for me? Right, to go off and do that. Right, what's your problem? I think if I can teach here, I can pretty much teach everywhere. The problem is at the moment, yesterday I was just in tears, most of, or on the verge of tears most of the day. And just feeling like I need to chuck it all in and become a waitress because do it. So, I don't know. I, need to, I really need to crack it and I need some support to help me crack it. And I don't know, I guess I need to try and find some, some help. I'm finding it hard to keep being strict, especially when, um, you know, in the mornings you can sort of say to them, you're going to miss break time if you don't behave. But in the afternoons, you know, you haven't necessarily got anywhere much to go with, with the discipline. I have sort of chatted to another few members of staff and tried to get their advice. It does sound like I am doing the right things, but um, I guess it's just, you know, you don't automatically have the presence of years of experience, so perhaps I'm expecting a bit too much of myself. I've done the seating plan for the carpet, and I think I'd like to make a couple of improvements there because some, some children at the back like it at the back, so we'll move them up. I just expect sort of the worst. You sort of learn to expect the worst and just just not let it phase you because if you I think if you let it phase you then you're doomed. Behaviorally wise, I need to talk to quite a few parents actually. I'd like to talk to them about the points and get get some sort of team effort together where, you know, if the child loses the points for the week or if he doesn't get enough for a treat at the end of the week then you know either a note goes home or the the child tells the parent and then the child at home loses a privilege as well hi how are you uh, hi 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 Devante. Hello. nice bag you have there very stylish <laughs> how do you know about stuff like that <laughs> how's it going you all right yeah I'm not too bad. good Devante is a <laughs> smart little boy yes. can be very disruptive do yeah. you hear that it's not, it's not always Devante, you know, there are other, this is a tough class and there are other children that instigate know. things. I do know. Exactly. No, so no, it's I not... Mm. Look at me, Devante. I want some eye contact. Really? You know, if I there's a child in the class that's, that's bothering you or talking to you too much, let me know. We'll sort it out. Because, should, should we put David then Ishmael on the carpet? Would that help you? We could do that tomorrow. That might be an idea, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll write that down, actually. So Ishmael and, and David to change seats. Devante has a one and a zero today. 
So one from Monday and a zero. But what I would like maybe from you is a possibility in a, in a partnership with this. For instance, if he isn't getting treats at the end of the week here, maybe taking something away that he normally gets at home. In the evening we sit down and we talk what's happened. Okay. So I'm aware of what's going on because okay. there's this little discussion between us. Well, that's good. And do you tell, do you tell your mom everything, Devante? Good boy, that's good. Okay, I'll look forward to a three then tomorrow. So but you've got a shake on it now, because that's an agreement. All right, give it a shot. I'm finding behaviour management is a problem. Um, in the first week or so, it wasn't too bad, I guess, because they were getting used to me. But now, increasingly, when I give them an instruction, it takes them a long time to settle. Because it's sort of five or six children who are actually doing things like getting up out of their seat and wandering around the room when they shouldn't be, mm. um, I find that very difficult to manage because suddenly it's like there's you know, four or five people who aren't where they're supposed to be and you give an instruction to stop and they carry on and ignore you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't deal with it at the time. And I wouldn't so how it. would you stop it if a child is misbehaving then? I would um, give the child a choice direction. Right. And I would ask, I would give the child three choices. And the yeah. choice would be to return to the task, mm -hmm. uh, to wait to do the task at a later time, yeah. or to leave the classroom and go to someone else's class. It's always good to involve the child in their own behaviour management. Mm -hmm. Because if they see you as the, the external sanction all the time, they have no need to do it for themselves. Yeah. So, Ishmael. What's going on with your behaviour this week? Oh. Oh. Kept that pretty quiet, didn't you? <laughs> a little bit of slippage there. Yeah. How would you feel if I moved David next to Devante and you beside David on the other side? How'd that work for you? Would that not be good? But the, the thing is, the reason why I'm thinking that is because you and Devante talk quite a bit. So I'm trying to cut that out. And I know that you don't talk to David. So if I put you over there, does that stop the talking a little bit? And that gives you more points? Yeah? In the morning, I kind of manage to keep fairly calm and, you know, straightforward. But I think by the afternoon, I'm feeling so frazzled. It's really easy for me to just lose my temper with them, and which is kind of really not what you want to do at Be all. positive. Always focus on the children who are doing the right thing. Yeah. And that way, you'll get the class on side. You need to bring the class on side with you. The children who always behave. And what I need from Mrs. Ishmael is a target that we can set for home as well, because I think Ishmael kind of has the attitude that if he loses his points here, so what, he's got treats at home. I actually had one child say to me, stop it because Mrs. gets stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Never let them see it. You should always be smiling and I saying know. how wonderful some children yeah. are yeah. and not getting cross. Mm -hmm. Difficult to do. Very. But mm -hmm. so much better when you do, yeah. for everybody. You'll be my pencil man as long as you give me a three. Okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to see you again. Okay, see you tomorrow morning, Ishmael. Okay, yeah. see you soon. The support that the school has given me has been really great. Um, I've talked to lots of different people and they've all been trying to help me and give me advice and check that I'm okay, which is lovely. It does make me feel like I'm part of the school, but at the same time it's really humiliating because I just feel very embarrassed that I can't actually teach in the way that I want to teach. Today was a good day actually, and then the parents meeting went well as well. So, sort of, okay, maybe we can work with this and a little more positive and we'll see tomorrow how their behavior is and if they really took it on board that it's time to listen, it's time to behave. But wait for it. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day and you never know. That's what's tricky about this job is you can never just say, oh yeah, I got it. You always, always have to be on, on, on. So, we'll see. Thank you.